What is good, YouTube? It's your boy J Melfo back with another Madden 17 Nano Blitz out of the 3 4 over. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Roll to 100k subs, bro. I know I got the uh, I know I got the possibility to gain 100k subs. I know my content can produce and help out 100k people, so that roll starts now. So help your boy out. The other thing, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're not new to the channel, I don't know why you haven't liked and subscribed already. But like I said, a lot of people, bro, I've been seeing this repeated in my comment sections, bro. J-Mail, you trash. You bum. If I'm a, if I'm such a scrub, play me. Message me on Xbox and say, let's run one. Stop commenting. Stop scrolling down to your laptop. Commenting in the YouTube section because you on a fucking laptop or a computer. Hit me up on my Xbox and say, let's see wrong one. Then I expose you, upload you, and I want to hear your mouth from there. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing, people like, bro, you run one play. You trash. I can run one play and win a game, and that make me trash. That don't make my opponent trash for not being able to stop what's coming if he know what's coming. But that make me trash. Okay, that's, that's irrelevant and doesn't make any sense. Just because you can't sit in the slant zone too and make adjustments and win a game don't mean I have to be trash like you and do the same thing. And a lot of y'all, like a lot of y'all going to get hurt by that because y'all been the ones hating on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, But a lot of y'all going to watch this video. I'm going to be like, thanks, J-Mail, whatever, whatever. But a lot of y'all, y'all going to be hurt by what I just said because y'all been one of the main ones hating. But like I said, y'all going to scroll down, say some more hating shit in the comment section. And I'm okay with that because y'all making me money. Let's get into this blitz. The sting pinch out the three four over, bro. You can use the sting pinch zone. The sting pinch zone just a lot more setups. Like I said, uh, sting pinch, whatever, whatever, whatever. The all we gonna go to, all we gonna go to is here. Boom. I don't think you wanna do base align or man align. Shift your line to the left. Crash them to the left. Like boom. Hit L one or L B. Slant left. Move this linebacker out. Just like that. Then you want to uh, zone out that linebacker here. I use quick adjustments. Then you can use the guy on the running back. You can press. You can do what you want. I'm going to block the running back. And I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Well, he came up the gap that time. I don't know what the hell just happened. My bad, y'all. I think I did it wrong. So you're going to base the line. Shift him to the left. Crash him to the left. Drag that guy out just like that. Zone him out. You can press if you want. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's usually right there. Yeah, I think that's right. Block him. Yeah. All right, now, there you go. Now, y'all I, I don't know why he got picked up like that. That usually doesn't happen. I don't know why, like, his acting cheeks. Like, a lot of y'all watch my gameplays. A lot of people ask me what blitz I've been running. And this has been a blitz I've been running uh, lately. Like, I, I run this, like, almost every down now. Like, just because I can. But, like, y'all see, like, even with the running back blocking, it comes off the edge. It's, like, most of the time, it's, just, like, not a lot they can do about it and like even if you leave this guy blitzing it really becomes like um like it really becomes unguardable at that point like look it just doesn't pick up like this blitz is one of the best blitzes in the game you can't send it using four people but it's not consistent if you're gonna send it using four people drag this guy out a little bit further then pit this guy in a hook zone right here and then you can put him in a flat like i said this blitz is fire they blocking a running back just don't pick him up I, I don't know why, and a lot of y'all going, oh, you manipulating the game, you doing this and this. You can't, bro. You, you ain't about to sit here and blame me for something I can't control. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying, like, something I can't control. Now, see, right there, it did get picked up. I, I tried to crash to the middle to see if that would make a difference, but it really did. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to lab up to see what's the best blitzes. Uh, like, if you try to crash it to the right, let me see if that might help. We went... We can see, see this is what I do, y'all. This, this this where it becomes labbing. This is where I try to see, figure out what works, what doesn't. So obviously crashing to the right don't work. Like I said, stay with the normal setup. Uh, base the line, shift him to the left, and crash him to the left, and then drag this guy out. Uh, zone that guy out. You can do what you want. Number two, number two, do what you want to do. Y'all see, he just don't get blocked. It comes in streaming. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. But until then, it's your boy J Mail Flow. AKA Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.